Libra. I've never, I don't think we've ever done this before, but before I, when I was shuffling all the decks, these three fell out just before I turned on the camera when I shuffled this last deck. And I really feel like they're supposed to be here for you. You have blessed, deep knowing, and TikTok. And this says to me that there's something you know or you feel like this is spirit talking to you. Blessed and deep knowing and TikTok. So something about divine timing or it's time for something. I'm not sure, but let's find out. They came out with vengeance. Uh, like they really, really needed to be here. And look at what's the bottom of the deck. I didn't even see this. Milk and honey. So this all leads to the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. That's such a great card. Look at it. There's like an elephant, little baby elephant bathing in a bowl of milk and honey under a rainbow on a beautiful day. I really feel like there's something spirits trying to tell you. I don't know if it's something you have to do. We're going to find out. Wisdom of the Oracle. We also have Gilded Royale. We're also going to be using Silver Witchcraft. And this month, we're going to be using, we usually use these on the big two-week readings, but we're going to use them on the big monthlies this month because I want to know where this energy is going to go into the new year. So these after tarot cards are going to take us right into the new year so this reading really goes into the new year but you are getting new year readings so this isn't oh this is isn't me saying you're not getting new year readings you're still getting them but i want i thought this would be a nice little bonus for the last month of the year spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know here blessed deep knowing TikTok, milk and honey what do we need to know what are the messages Libra reading for anyone who's guided. Libra reading. Blessed, deep knowing, TikTok and milk and honey. Libra reading. Let's do it. Whoa, came right out. Ten of cups reversed. And really, this is what we're trying to get to. Exactly. All right, Ace of Swords, new beginning. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Great energy coming out here. Yeah, look at you, Libra. Queen of Swords. Doesn't matter your gender. Gender means nothing. Even if I say she or she or he, please, whatever works for you. Gender means nothing in my readings. Tell me, even though I'm just reading the cards, so I might say she or he. Uh, central issue. What do we need to know? Central issue. Yep, decision to turn that wheel. Look at that. What a great reading, Libra. So this really says you're deciding when the wheel's going to turn. You're deciding when you're going to bring something in. This could be something you're doing for yourself, your home, your family, your relationship, or it might be totally unrelated. It could be something you're doing on your own as well. Tell me more about this. Libra reading. Yeah, look at that. Page of Cups. Eight of Swords reverse. I mean, everything we want to see in reverse is reverse. There's only one card here that I'd rather see uh, reversed. And one card I'd rather see in the upright. But that's okay. We're going to look at it. I know why this one came out in the reverse. That is way too many. Can we just get one or two, please? One or two. I know why this one came out in the reverse. It's just saying this is what the goal is here. And there's something here about you making a decision that'll get us to that goal. What else? Yeah. <laughs> the tower. So um, this just says to me that you're going to detach from something pretty quickly. It's going to be like, boom, okay, I'm out of that. Um, because you needed to. Four of Pentacles is never a fun energy to me. It's Well, this also could be a, you've been holding on to the wheel. I've been holding on to the wheel. That's what I thought as soon as I saw it. I'm contemplating. But I know if I do whatever this is, that'll be pretty sudden, my ship comes in. So, but, and you're very clearly seeing this. This is something that you're deep knowing blessed spirit's been trying to tell you about it and you're seeing it you're feeling it you're you're very um in tuned let's say um and this really is all about the minute you do this action and release this tower 
this new energy comes in this page of cups comes in this opportunity of something new that takes you into the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow i don't know exactly what this is yet but it's something you you would have to detach from something you've been trying to hang on to and you'd have to head towards the new the new ace of cups right there ace of swords right there but it's a decision you'll make. This is a Libra card for me as well. And you know, you've been really thinking about it, or you could even be fearful about it. Empress right there. Um, this really is about you. Uh, you'd have to leave something that you felt really kind of stuck in. You'd have to, you'd have to cause the uh, transformation is what it is. Now, this could just be as simple as moving homes. This could be as simple as, and you really have been thinking about this. This actually could be an emotional decision too with the moon involved, or you've just been having a hard time seeing it clearly. And now all of a sudden, this is, uh, for a long time, I've been trying to see my way through this. And this is, well, now you do. Uh, now you know where you're going to go. This heads you to that Ace of Cups. It heads you to the new beginning, the pot of gold here. Um, whatever this is, it really is about you almost like you're facing a kind of a fear to move into this, like you, there it is a decision to face a fear and to move into a brand new beginning and allow the transformation to happen. Um, it takes you to your pot of gold. It takes you to, it's like you get, all of a sudden you get this confidence about you. Look at the nine of pentacles. It's like, I'm ready. You know, it's like you see something clearly and you can make the decision now. Like I've been holding on to that wheel for so long because it's my choice. And I feel like you're going to make this choice. It's like you see it clearly and you're like, I'm doing it. I don't know what this is yet. It's very exciting. This reading is for Libra or anyone else who's guided to see it. Anything could come out during this reading right till the very last second. Sometimes I even come back on camera with special messages for people at the very end. It happens randomly. It happened for two signs so far this month. So if you want to hang out to the very end for just a second, I might come back on camera. It just happens randomly. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. What do we need to know here? What are the messages? Libra reading. For anyone who's guided, this could resonate now or later. I feel as though these readings are going to go well into the new year, even though they are the last month of the year readings. All right, central issue. The central issue is the wheel turning. I feel this. Is, these three cards are all working together. Well, it's actually all of them. You, Libra, Queen of Swords, wheel reversed, four of pentacles, and the two of pentacles. This whole center is what I'm looking at. I want to look at all of these together. Wheel of Fortune reversed with the Four of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, and Queen of Swords. Absolutely. Six of Wands reversed and the Page of Swords. And look at how the Page of Swords holds the Book of Knowledge, but the Book of Knowledge has been given to them by Spirit. Look at the little fairy here. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a little angel fairy comes in and hands the Page of Swords the information, and then the page holds the Swords of Truth right there so uh, the page holds the sword of truth and the book of knowledge this says to me if i want this beautiful success to come in six of wands very successful i'm i have to listen to my intuition i have to listen to what is going on up here with so spirit sending you this information and this just confirms what we've been talking about uh, but the decision is always yours what decision will you make that turns the wheel it means you have to allow it. It means you have to face a fear. It means you have to change an energy possibly as well. But if you do, there is success here. I hope this makes sense to somebody. Yeah, look, I got chills just now. Look at the judgment card. They're all spirits, right? Spirit trying to, and look at how spirit comes in and is like fly birdie fly the little birdie like the spirits kind of push the little birdie to do something. Of course, you know, you can Ten of Pentacles. This is going to bring in some fulfillment for you. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. You know, Ten of Cups is up here. So Spirit is saying, deep knowing in divine timing, I know what I got to do to get to that Ten of Pentacles. Oh, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. You know, and there you are again, the Empress again. You know, unless this is another person, but let's go because you're coming out as this Queen of Swords. This Empress could be somebody else. Tell me about this. Um, I want to go up top here and look at the Ten of Cups reversed. What is it we need to know? You have the Sword of Truth here on top of the Ten of 
the wheel, I'm sorry, another 10 on top of the 10. And up here you have the sword of truth with a 10 and back here, or no, it was at the bottom of the deck. You had the sword of truth with a 10. So, I mean, there's lots of, um, opportunity to see something clearly it, and look at all the cards of seeing something clearly ace of swords page of swords queen of swords eight of swords reverse when this is reversed she's no longer bound she no longer has a blindfold on she's seeing everything so many cards of i see it now i see what i have to do i understand what i have to do i'm being called to go towards something so even if this doesn't mean something's got to end it means you're being called towards something but it does is this physical for some of you it is for some of you this is more spiritual metaphorical you know or it's more like i have to make a change so think of it that way but whatever it is you're going to get this complete clarity on it okay so let's keep going and see what comes out here i want to look at that ace no i'm sorry that ten of cups reverse tell me about the ten of cups reversed let's look at that first libra reading for anyone who's guided what's most important that we should know about the ten of cups in the reverse eight of chalices time to go time to go through so to something that is happy if we're not happy in one spot let's go to another spot same thing it says back here if we're not happy we need to go somewhere else and it's time it's time uh, time to cause change time, the change brings in the ace when you allow the death card you allow the ace of cups so these two work together to bring something in for you it's your choice though again your choice and it means you have to face the fear the fear is that you might have to leave something behind and go towards something else it doesn't have to mean physically you're leaving anything behind it just means a change needs to happen and this is the thing sort of truth you're seeing it clearly what is what are the things i have to do i have to cut myself free of this one thing this could be all metaphorical so this could be a physical move for you or it could be more like i need to cut myself free of my thoughts of my worry of my fears of my inability to move forward because i am stunted by something dot 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 everybody's you know everybody's been through different things right so let's find out about this nine of pentacles and ace of swords because this is when you just get into this energy that's like um it's like an awakening almost it's like i know that that they're not cards of an awakening but that's how it feels to me the nine of pentacles ace of swords says you see it you know it and now you're ready for it tell me about ace of swords nine of pentacles what do we need to know the most about this for libra or anyone else who's guided ace of swords nine of pentacles please the knight of wands reversed so the knight of wands reversed doesn't budge right but if the knight of wands gets a fire lit under him he's gonna budge so this really is about something that um, you've been just sitting in um, contemplation i don't know where it went but sitting in contemplating thinking about not moving feeling blindfolded feeling bound needing to make this decision you've just been sitting in it and guess what judgment and ten of pentacles again these are such great cards saying this is some kind of fulfillment you will have some kind of um but it's really about you making the decision and allowing it you had to see this you had to get into this energy first so in other words we can't if we're like this like i don't know what to do i don't know what to do i'm you know i'm really i can't i can't let the wheel turn i just you know holding on holding on holding on when we're like this we're not making any kind of progress but you need this time sometimes to get clarity and boy have you moon reversed is also clarity i don't think i mentioned that when i said clarity 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 and didn't we have it down here I, well we did a minute ago i mean all of this is all about you finally being able to see something clearly like you're seeing 
when I make this decision, my ship comes in. It's back there. Do you see the big giant ship coming in? And Spirit already said it's going to be very successful, but you need to see it for yourself. We can't turn the wheel for you. We can give you the information. Deep knowing, blessed. We're sending it to you. We're telling you, hey, make this move. Hey, make this move. I mean, look at the, look at the divine timing card. There's like some kind of, um, it almost looks like a balloon taking off. You know, so Spirit's sending you the information and letting you know, hey, whatever it is you're thinking of or whatever it is that keeps coming back to you and you keep saying, I know I got to do this, but, 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 Spirit is going, it takes you to the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So I don't know what this is for you, Libra, but it's very exciting. So, and it, you also needed to stay like this for a while, but now it's time to get up. So I don't know exactly what that means for each of you. It might be a little bit different, but Spirit's trying to say to you, we're trying to send you to your Ten of Pentacles. We're trying to send you to your Ten of Cups. We're trying to send you to your Aces and your new opportunities. Some kind of fulfillment. It is your ship showing up. It's like, it's a completion of the best kind that's been stunted and stuck and in, unable to come in for you. Remember, Death Card and the... Uh, Ace of Cups, we want to see that in the upright. We want to see this beautiful transformation come for Libra. Um, very important. All right, let's take a look at it. I want to look at the moment that you are. Page of Cups, Ace of... No, Eight of Swords reversed and the Tower. What do we need to know for Libra? Page of Cups, Eight of Swords reversed and the Tower. What is it about? What do we need to know? What's most important? three of swords so this could and look at how this sword goes right into the ace of cups do you see it down there in the snow um in the snow is carved out the ace of cups with the sword going right through it which is the thing we've been talking about this whole entire reading your new beginning lies on facing some kind of truth seeing something clearly queen of swords again i can't stress to you enough how much you are being asked to see something clearly and you know, there might be someone that you're leaving behind. You got the seven of swords here, or again, look at the sword of truth right in front of the tree. So, I mean, this really could be you quietly deciding something. I'm ready. I've decided. This says to me, this says to me, all three of these were at the bottom. Libra, queen of swords, seven of swords, and two of pentacles now in the reverse saying, I've decided something, but I've done it quietly on my own. I feel like you needed this time to ruminate on something, to take in so much clarity. Oh my gosh, Libra, clarity is everywhere. I can't even stress that to you enough. And this is where you then, when this all this clarity hits you, you decide to unstick whatever's been stuck. I mean, been stuck, the wheel. The wheel hasn't turned because you haven't decided yet to turn it, but you're equipped with all this information and it's all coming straight from the divine. I mean, some of you could get some kind of physical information too that could get you unstuck, sure, but this comes straight from the divine either way. So in other words, if you're getting it intuitively, it's coming from the divine. And if you're getting it from another source, it's coming from the divine, no matter what. It's coming to you because it's something that, oh my God, that you are supposed to know. The moon reversed again. Information coming out. Clarity coming in. Seeing something clearly now with the high priestess on it. Blessed and deep knowing. This really is being done on your behalf. There is spiritual intervention with the little fairy here. Handed you this knowledge and this information. Deep knowing. Connecting with blessed and the divine. And the moon coming out, not once, but twice. Really nice energy. Um, Libra, please do comment down below. I'm going to do your after tarot for you. And we're going to see where does this go into the new year. You guys are getting yearly read. I mean, you are getting um, new year readings. So don't worry about that. They're coming. It's This is not to say you're not having new year readings. You are. Uh, we're just going to see what that energy is going into that first week. Well, if that doesn't say it all, and look what's at the bottom. Deep knowing, transformation, new beginning. 
It's right there. The same exact story comes right back out. You're going to finally see exactly this come in. Remember, it's all about you deciding and facing a fear that might mean you leave one thing behind and you've been thinking about this for a while, but it's time now because you're seeing it clearly. You're getting, you're getting the bigger picture and the bigger picture has to do with you knowing that this is going to be so good for you. This is your new life, your new transformation, your new dawning of your new day. This is death of old, birth of new. And didn't I say that in the very beginning that I felt like this was like an awakening or a rebirth of some sorts? It is. Good luck with this, guys. I'm going to pull you some angel cards. Beautiful energy coming through. This is all about, this is what an old, this is what we're all supposed to do. Libra's on the right path because we're supposed to purge the old and step into the new. At the end of the year, we all walk into a brand new cycle together. And I think, I swear, this is going to sound crazy. You may be the only sign so far that has gotten this kind of energy. Death of old, birth of new. Maybe one other sign got this of, you know, purging the old and stepping into the new, like to this degree where you would... Um, almost like a tower moment of knowing this is what I need to do for my new year. It's like that kind of energy. I don't think anyone had exactly that kind of energy yet. Yet. Anyway, angels, what do we need to know for Libra here? I'm very curious, Libra. What is it about? Wow, support coming in for you. Love that. What a great card. I took out way more than I meant to. Tenderness kind of feels like the support card as well. Simplicity. This is you doing something because you don't want to feel blindfolded and bound and stuck anymore. So it's going to bring in a whole lot. You're going to love this energy. I mean, that little um, elephant is bathing in a bowl of milk and honey under the rainbow. Talk about a simple, beautiful day. Contentment. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying here. And brotherhood, sisterhood. This is going to lead you to, I feel like you're going to be led. I have chills right now to way better people let me know guys i don't know what this is but you're going to have support there now this could be people you know now will help you with the transformation as well so if you already have great people around you they're going to support you through this um it is something that you are going to make up your mind to do it's kind of like facing a fear that's going to lead you to something you really want to do or you really will like you just haven't really realized it till this moment where you have been contemplating on it and but you kind of got stuck there and this is going to be that moment of that reality of I can do this and I can I can not just do this but it could also be brilliant let me know leave her good luck I'd love to hear from you comment down below don't forget to like this video and help your section keep growing and growing I appreciate it, it helps the channel and it's a great way to give back okay talk to you guys soon thanks